Hi, thank you for joining. I've just bought two new pieces of equipment for my astrophotography and I thought I'd give you my initial impressions of them, which I hope you find useful. The first is the uh, camera from, uh, well, called the T7C. It seems to be on a number of online forums to sell, but I couldn't really see any reviews of it being used for astrophotography. And the second is a small adapter to allow my uh, Skywatcher 9x50 fiber scope to be adapted to be used as a guide scope. So I've been trying both of those pieces of equipment out this week, and I thought I'd give you my initial impressions. The reason I wanted to buy this equipment is threefold, really. Firstly, I wanted to improve my polar alignment by using the SharpCap polar alignment facility. Secondly, I wanted to start experimenting with guiding um, to help over the course of the evening and at night for my um, photographs. And thirdly, I'm seriously considering buying a much more expensive astrophotography camera, and I wanted to see how I got on with using SharpCap with this type of camera. I've used a standard DSLR for some time. In fact, I've got a modern DSLR on its way to me through the Postal Service at the moment. Um, but so, so I'm reasonably familiar with using that for SharpCap with SharpCap. However, I want to see how I get on with a different type of camera. So this is what you get when the parcel arrives. Nicely packaged, um, the main camera along with various adapters and wires to work with it, which I then will take out of the box now and show you what's in there. Now, the first thing to notice is the absence of any instructions whatsoever. So you're very much on your own or some helpful soul leaving you a YouTube video to explain how this might possibly work. Um, things you do have in the box, however, is you've got the uh, USB cable connector, you've got the um, guide connector at the top, uh, the camera with a fisheye lens on. Now, I don't suppose I'll ever use a fisheye lens, but it came with it, um, along with various adapters for connecting to different components and what looks like a little uh, infrared filter in there as well, which can be used, and I have used it, for use during the day as well. So you can see by moving the camera around, we've got the two connectors in the back, the wires go into for the USB connector for the PC, uh, and also for the guide port. Um, also then taking the front off the camera, we can see that uh, the chip inside, that's the main action here, and is the main reason for buying the equipment in the first place. So now look to see how we attach the camera to the finder scope. So firstly, we remove the current finder scope eyepiece, and then we um, screw the adapter into it. Now it has to go quite a long way into it. It was a little bit disconcerting. Your fingers kind of disappearing down the tube, but it does um, stop very securely at the end. We then attach with one of the other attachments that came with the um, camera, and then the camera itself to put them into the finder scope. So to use the camera, you need to connect it to your PC um, using the USB wire provided. Also on your PC, you'll need to do a few things. Now, strangely enough, the uh, drivers for this camera are actually um, ZWO or ZOO drivers for their camera range. Um, and so you need to go to the, uh, their website to download those drivers. Also, you need to make sure you've got a version of SharpCap. Also, if you intend to do polar alignment or many of the premium features for SharpCap, you'll need to sign up for one of their um, annual maintenance or annual plans for it. Alternatively, just use the free version, but not use some of the fancier features that come with it. So the day the camera arrived, I went outside, got everything set up, super excited to be using it. Um, and uh, and for, I was slightly disappointed when I saw the initial results uh, that evening before uh, dusk was complete. I could see there were some weird blobs appearing on the um, screen and that was both when I had it through the finder scope I also tried it through the telescope making sure it wasn't the optics causing this um, and that was a slight disappointment um, it didn't stop me carrying on for the rest of the evening trying other activities out I've since contacted the vendor um, not surprisingly they've advised me to clean this uh, microchip which I was a little bit concerned about uh, which product to use Obviously not to use the uh, bleach, which is much in the news at the moment as a recommended cleaning product. That's definitely not the case for these. However, um, what you do need to use is very pure alcohol apparently. So I've ordered some of those which will be coming through the post. But I'm continuing to use the camera in the meantime anyway. 
So as I got dark, I was able to try out some of the features further. Uh, I was able to get the polar alignment to work after a fashion. However, I was a little disappointed with the results. It seems to take a considerable amount of time to solve it. It's only the um, next following day I realised the error of my ways, and I hadn't sufficiently focused the finder scope. Um, so I then went out yesterday evening, actually, um, and uh, spent the evening focused purely on getting the finder scope right. I went out with my AZ GTI lightweight mount purely in a standard mode rather than equatorial mode and uh, with the focus of getting uh, the focus right. Um, and that worked, I'm pleased to say. I also um, found a button off um, mask print uh, on the 3D print site and uh, used that, which was very useful just for testing out the uh, button off focus feature of Sharp Cap as well. So by the end of last night, um, I was getting much better focus in the finder scope. Um, I was able to do the first stage of polar alignment. I, I focused on the um, Polaris or nearby Polaris and pressed the buttons on sharp cap to start the polar alignment process. And it very quickly identified the right stars and wanted me to move on to the next stage. Obviously, as I wasn't in equatorial mode at that point, I wasn't able to do that, but it gives me confidence that from a um, polar alignment perspective that uh, the first one of my objectives should be met by this. Now, it's going to be cloudy tonight, so next time we get a nice clear night I'll do some further testing in equatorial mode, but that was a good, good first step and give me more confidence in the first night of being out. Well, further on last night, I also tried um, using it to look at some other stars. Um, and uh, funny enough, the, uh, I was looking at Prolux, and uh, just as the um, uh, great satellite parade by Elon Musk came past, so I saw some of those uh, passing by um, through my main um, uh, lens and telescope, um, but I also was focused on it with the um, uh, finder scope, which uh, I'll include on this as a clip. Now, I had a few concerns it seemed to be moving around, but that could well be for many other reasons. Uh, than, than anything to do with the camera, so I'll do some further work and in a further video look to see how it might work as a guide scope. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please do let me know um, whether it's worth my while continuing to make these videos. Thank you.